Most people miss these. They walk right by them and don't even realize they carry this kind of value. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some promotional, some advertising items. One very specific type. We're looking literally at just tape measures. Now, not these kind of tape measures that you'd find in construction, but advertising ones that would have been given away as promotional items, advertising all sorts of things. These are all over the place. You may not even realize that they are tape measures because of the shape, the construction, style, or design. Now, the highest priced tape measures out there are pretty much tied to the collectibles area. They're all advertising of some sort. Now this one here is made out of celluloid, which is a collectible in and of itself. People just collect celluloid items. It's a very early form of plastic. Many of the earlier celluloid items that I run into other than like cuffs and collars are related to advertising of some sort. They could be bookmarks, buttons, or anything just like this tape measure here. Now this one's a little different. This one's tied to the dairy industry. Victorian farming in general, very, very early. This is a cream separator and these can be found advertised on things all the way back to the 1870s such as Victorian trade cards. Highly collected, highly valuable, especially these celluloid ones. Seven $739, 14 bids. It's small, it's tiny, it's something many people may not assume would carry this sort of value. Now there are many figural or ones that look like something specific. This is made to look like a church, a cathedral, but this is a tape measure as well. This goes along the lines of some of the pencil sharpeners that come in multiple different styles, designs, figures and things like that made out of brass. Tons of those are around. People just collect those as well. This is similar to that in value construction design. This one went for well over $500. Here's another one that sold in the $500 range. Figural ones are the ones I usually try to grab up the most. This is a pig. You pull it out from its face, its snout area, and the tape measure is inside. Any of these sorts can go phenomenally well, as you can see with this one here. Just like many other categories, animal-related items do sell extremely well. Now, old is always great in something like this, especially when they're dated. This one's dated 1888. American Brake Company, very, very scarce item. Back to the days of wagons and things. $411, 86 bids. A ton of bids on something like this. This sort of thing is still out there. Many times when you run into something like this, it may be tarnished or completely blackened from age or dirt, but if you clean them up, you never know what you will find underneath, just like this one here. Now cartoon, comics, movie related items are also done into tape measures. Anything they could do to promote it. Some of these were given away at the movie theater also. This is Felix the Cat. Not the greatest example. You pull out his tongue, the whole works. These are really interesting, really unique all the way across the board. If you didn't know this was a tape measure, you may miss that feature. Now sometimes you may not even know it's a tape measure. Sometimes the tape itself is hidden into the design, the structure of the item itself. So even picking something up, turning it around, looking at it, you still may not realize it's a tape measure. Another celluloid item. This is another tape measure. Now, some of these can be confused with toys in general because they're miniature, they're tiny. It looks like a tiny dollhouse candlestick phone, basically. But this is indeed a tape measure, as you can see. Really nice, really unique. Now, the tape measure I have in my hand in the beginning of this is a Lufkin. These are by the exact same company. They made advertising ones as well as you can see here. There's one for a donut, and then there's one of their own also. Really nice, unique, $249. Now, farming is a huge area across the board. Anything farming-related, whether it's a tape measure or anything, can be highly collectible and worth some decent money. Here are three different John Deere tape measures. 240 bucks, basically 26 bids. These are something you would have bought at a farm store or would have been given away when maybe you bought a John Deere tractor or something like that. These are something you can run into in a toolbox right this very second. These things do show up. 
Now there's many types of John Deere as well. Here's another one. Some of these look like lighters. Sometimes I find tape measures mixed in with lighters as well. There are Zippo tape measures that look very similar to an actual Zippo. This one went for $545 with 15 bids. And still yet another John Deere from the 1950s. This was probably meant for a lady's purse or something like that. It's smooth, it's rounded off in the whole works. 23 bids on this one. Soda companies use them as well, something they could give away and advertise them. We have a Pepsi one, almost identical to this one, other than it looks like a Pepsi bottle cap. These all go for some good money. Almost $200 this one sold for here. It's cloth, it has celluloid. This would date to around the 1920s, maybe 30s era, all the way up and through the 1940s, I would guess. It's a nice item. These are something that you could walk right by and not even realize what it is. Now it has their character on it, which is something you can find on early advertisements from the same 1920s, 30s time frame. Really interesting, excellent condition as well. As I said, Zippo made them too. Here's an example. This is a Coca-Cola advertising. Just like the Coca-Cola Zippo lighters, they also made these at the exact same time. Now this one comes in the same size of box as basically a Zippo lighter, but this one says Zippo rule. Pull it out just like any other tape measure. 185 bucks. This one's from England. It doesn't matter what country you're in. These are all over the place, across the globe. I've seen them in many different countries, many different languages as well. Now, just like farming, other industries use these to promote their items. This is for a valve manufacturer. So someone may have purchased something from this company. They gave them one of these, or maybe they bought them. It was something they could put in their pocket and use to measure the items they need to purchase. Valves come in different sizes and length so you may have to look up so many times these were utilitarian items that were meant to be used so every time you measure something you're going to be thinking about these folks 178 dollars 16 bids Here's yet another figural one. On the right side of the top of the boat, you can see the little loop where you'd pull the actual tape measure out itself. Celluloid, as I said, these are early scarce. They were all over the place. Interesting style and design as well. Almost 150 bucks for this one. Celluloid, though, sells on its own. Anything that's early celluloid that's in excellent condition, I usually grab if it's dirt cheap. These sorts of things always sell. Now, even if the tape measure was damaged on this, or maybe even if it was missing, you could still sell the celluloid part itself for some decent money. Now here's a pretty cute one in my book. This is a French bulldog. Any dogs or animals of any sort go for some good money. This could have been listed in many different categories. You've got collectibles and then animals under the French bulldog section. It could also be listed in sewing items. And there's two different big major sections. There's an antique sewing section under antiques, and there's also a collectible one as well. This one went for 165 bucks. Here's another nice one, probably 1950s. This is a cat, and on the top of it, it's actually a pin cushion and then you pull the tongue out and the tongue is actually the tape measure itself hundred and sixty two dollars thirty seven bids again this is something you may not realize that's what this was you may not realize that that's a pin cushion on the top you may not even realize that that's a tape measure from the bottom it's just marked and nesco there's nothing different about it but this is another sewing related item these sell extremely well to many people cat collectors you could have listed this again in several different categories another farming related one moline tractors right here excellent perfect example it's got a nice image of one of their tractors on the front perfect example of a fine farming piece hundred and fifty five dollars eighty eight cents with three bids on this one farming in general are really hot right this very minute anything farming related that's vintage i will take a shot on now there's folk art versions of many of these as well some of them are vintage there are actually people that still make some of these right this minute you pull out the tongue on the skull and it is a tape measure as well really interesting item as you can see here now this one does appear to be a vintage one but there are tons of these you can find some of these new still right now right this very minute now here's just one last item tied to tape measures as well that most people don't realize what it is this is by Lufkin this is made to clip onto the edge of a tape measure and you can walk out and use this to pull out the tape measure so it doesn't slip out of your hand or anything like that this is one of those odd tools that most people haven't a clue
clue on what it is. People mix it up with some sort of scissor attachment or something like that because that's what it looks like. But the Lufkin name alone gives this away. Really interesting item. Now, it's not worth a fortune, but it's something you'll pay a few pennies for most of the time. The person selling it usually doesn't know what it is. I've paid a dollar. I've paid down to a quarter for one of these before. 25 to 50 bucks is on average what these sell for, depending on the condition. Well, there we go. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Just in case you need it.